Hi, I'm Alison and welcome to the China Repair Studio. And so today I thought I would show you how to do quite a simple fix on a chipped bowl. But before I do, if you haven't subscribed before, please subscribe and also please like and please share. My channel is anything to do with China restoration, China um, porcelain, as well as pottery repair, everything from modern new things we use bowls and cups to things which are slightly older such as our um, Staffordshire figures and this is something we are going to be working on soon a pair of 18th century English Delftware which has been broken and yes I show you how to repair and paint airbrush and various other techniques right so on to the repair of the bowl now the first thing you want to do when you do have a chips bowl is to make sure that the bowl where the chip is it is very clean and also to make sure your hands are very clean because you don't want to be transferring any dirt into the bowl here um, when we when we use the milliput now here we have the milliput and well, here's my old one although it's the wrong way round but it's the super fine white and you can buy it on Amazon. I do have a link. I have put a link in the descriptions and it comes in two parts. So what you do is you take one part. Now it's quite a small chip, so you won't need too much. So probably just a small, small amount like that. I tend to put it into sort of roll it around in a circle because it's easier to tell when I do the other part if it's the same size so once you have used it make sure you wrap it up so it doesn't harden and dry around the edges and then we use I take this one here this is a blue and this one does come out slightly more of a yellowy colour and as I've said before you want it to almost to be um, it, to feel like blue tack once it's finished, once it's incorporated together. So we've got our two balls, put them together and then just mix them together in your fingers. I'll just put this one away here. Now mini puts does come in various other colours. So although I'm using the super fine white today, it does come in um, black, terracotta, yellow. Um, um, I can't really just see while I'm just doing this I do have some here um, yes brown I think it's a terracotta black as well and I think there's which one is this standard I think that's a, yeah oh, that's the terracotta so it does come in various colors um, yeah and that's the brown it does it will set under water and heat resistant to 130 um, so what you do is you just make sure that's nice and pliable and what you can tell once it's mixed in because it's the yellow from the blue packet and the white from the white packet blends in into one there isn't any and you can see here it's all nice it's pretty well blended in now now what you need afterwards is to get some water because it's quite it's easier when you put it apply it on so I just have a small cup of you can see dregs in there small cup of water now once it's nice like blue tack as I've said before just take take an amount which you think is roughly about the shape you don't want to make it too fat and big because it's going to be it's going to make for more sanding at the end of the day and harder work so just try to get it into shape and then place it onto the chip now you want it slightly proud you don't want it to be too flush otherwise you won't be able to blend it in when you are sanding it and then just place it on the chip let's have a look Harder to tell this way. So get into shape and then you place it on. 
you see and also make sure that you're doing right if it's particularly if it's on a rim that it's all blended in there and so you want it slightly proud but not too much so it's just like that and watch this is where the water comes in useful just take it one of your fingers and just get some water to it and just smooth it out slightly now with milliput it takes around i like to leave it 24 hours for it to completely harden and uh, and cure if you like they would say and then once that's cured it's then ready for the sanding now obviously this has to harden now before i can sand but i'll just show you what i would do afterwards so once it's on there and it's nice let's just get a piece of kitchen roll just wipe the edges down right okay there we go that's better so while that's wait while that's drying uh, once that as I say 24 hours and then once it's dried you need sandpaper now I tend to use wet and dry sandpaper I think it's called and it's from Germany obviously sandpaper comes in lots of different grades and I do have other videos if you'd like to look at those on grades of sandpaper but for a small thing like this I would probably start off I'd probably start off with 180 so it's fairly coarse and then I would then go to a finer and finer sandpaper and in the end I would finish off with a 1200. Let me see if I can find a 1200 here. So yeah, no, this is a 1200. So if I can show you the comparisons. So when you do have a big load of sandpaper like this, you don't want to take the whole lot and start rubbing. Just tear a few pieces off. So you would start off with something like this, work your way along and finish on a hundred and well twelve hundred. So that's very fine. And then you it really and so then you know when it's completely right when you close your eyes and just lightly use your finger to feel if there's any ridges. And if there's no ridges, you know it's it's great. Then after you've done that, I personally like to use a microfiber cloth and it's a lot as you can see it's a lot uh stronger it's a twelve thousand and then that would almost finish it so it's like glass um it's very very fine you don't need to do that but it is very useful and then once it's been sanded the thing to do is just wash it very lightly with some um with some washing up liquid water just to make sure that there's nothing remaining left on there and then that should be good to go um, you don't need to use glue with it if it's a small chip like this depends on the size um, you can paint it afterwards if you like to and then glaze it but if you just want something which you can still use and which then you're not going to cut yourself on the milliput is perfect as i say it does come in other colors depending on what color your bowl is um, but yeah that's how i would fix a bowl so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i do hope you found it useful again please subscribe we do anything to do with china pottery porcelain repair old and new and i will see you in the next one okay bye